you can start the recording from your side actually <clears throat> Good. One second. So let me go and share my screen. The entire screen I'm going to share. Now you're going to say about how the industry operates. So on the, uh, we will now go back to this place. What is the fusion inventory documentation? Fusion inventory docs. Fusion inventory documentation. So we'll be having one. Uh, moment request documentation one moment request documentation is there on the fusion inventory docs fusion inventory documentation i am always uh, telling you the navigation also to begin before I begin with now moment request documentation this is how an industry is uh, basically laid out and then i have now typically shown my industry uh, it will now vary the layout varies from different industries so we will be having one inward staging area in which the supplier's vehicle will be coming and then they will now download the material into the inward staging locator section. We have a QA department very near to the inventory office. This department will now randomly pick certain items from this place and then put on the QC test bench. The quality control test bench will be done and then what happens, they will now see, examine the product, whether it meets the company's quality or not. The thing which has passed will be coming into this locators now. We have a locator, series of locators over here. All the QC passed materials will be kept on the locator. And whatever is not meeting the QC requirement, they will now keep it in the rejected area. I was uh, one of the shop floor manager actually. So I used to walk into the inventory area at around 3 p.m. every day. And then I will now go and then see the tag which is now uh, put on the material actually. A yeah, monitor. There will be a small crack in the top. I will ask them. If you switch on, is it working or not? Yeah, it's working perfectly. But there is a small crack. And so it has to be returned to the supplier. I will say, RAR, if I return it back, this guy will now take around two to three weeks to return, repair it and then send it back. I cannot afford that much of a time. Take it now. It's called on there. I will now give an instruction. And the, so what happens? It will be automatically be taken. My inventory in charge will now listen to me. The requester is the ultimate authority in the procure to pay life cycle. And then if I want a material and then it has been ordered. And then if I say, okay, means what? The QC department's recommendation will be bypassed. So I'm the ultimate authority. In a P2P life cycle, the requester is the ultimate authority. So whatever he says, he will be dictating terms on anything actually. So it will be coming over here. And then afterwards, what happens is we will be having a put away process in which we will be having four raw material stores in which the material will be getting uniformly loaded over here so that it doesn't get damaged actually. So there is a put away process by which we'll be doing it. Now. And then afterwards, what happens is we'll be having a manufacturing area in which all the components will be issued over here. And then we have a what's called a planning department. The planning department is responsible for placing the job orders on the store. We'll be having item planners. We'll be having a sub inventory planners. We'll have a, all org planners will be what happens, uh, the bosses of both item planners and sub inventory planners. So the discrete job order gets created and then it will be placed on the VIP now. And the VIP will be manufacturing the components and then the completed components will be coming into FGS area, the finished goods area. It's becoming over here. And then once when it comes over here, everything will be there. Okay, fine. And then we will be having a picking process where the picking rule plays a very vital role actually. So based upon, let us say, the picking is now on a first in, first out now. Let us say, in the January month, whatever your manufacturer has come to FG was one, then FGS2 is having the February uh, uh, material. This is having March and then April. So the January material has to be sent out to the customers first actually. So the first in, first out product will not try to empty the FCF zone. Then afterwards, FGS2, like that, what happens? It will be, it will be emptying the stock, actually. Sometimes what happens, let us say, I am now manufacturing Hamam soap. Hamam is having a revision A. 
now lux has come with a new fragrance so these people to compete with lux what happened they will know uh, manufacture start to manufacture b b revision of hamam is now matching the fragrance of lux sector in a i have around 50000 uh, hamam soaps in b we have 5000 hamam soaps but if a picking rule is based on lost in first out for the revision what it will do is when the customer asks for it will now give only the b revision which is we are having only a list stock and then that is matching the fragrance so to remain competitive in the market we will always give the latest product to the customers so certain features of a item like serial lot revision locator sub inventory etc etc some of them are first in first out some of them are last in first out so a picking rule will be a combination of lifo and fifo and then based upon it it allocates material the power of picking rule is basically allocation it allocates material and so there is a power of allocation once when it is allocated it will now meet the company's policies of what happens sending shipping it to the customers actually so it's a very powerful one and then it is now used by Uh, three modules to a great extent actually the picking rule okay so we have fgs and then the picking rule will now allocate from where we had to pick up for the customer's order and afterwards what happens will be coming to the staging area so once when this comes in what happens we will now clean the finished goods we will not take the net weight we will now pack it in boxes and containers take the gross weight up fix the name plate it is like what happens uh, from where to whom it has to go and then we will now mark the statutory warnings like handle with care explosive etc etc and then make the consignment ready for ship confirmation so the consignment is getting staged over here this activity is called staging they are all staging activities so once when it is completed what happens we go there once when the customer vehicles comes in what happens you know pick the material and then keep it on the vehicle this is called ship confirmation process so once when the item is ship confirmed out of the vehicle it will now go towards the customer actually so this is a generic way in which what happens the industry runs now right so here the moment request process is now going to concentrate on the picking rule actually and sometimes what happens we buy and sell in which what happens there will be an inward staging area and then it will now be outward staging area we just cross dock it in a cross docking activity we will not do anything at all it will never come into the manufacturing facility at all and then we will now cross dock we will now remove the supplier stickers and then we will now affix our stickers that's it nothing else and then we will now sell it to the customer so we buy and sell also sometimes is there any questions on the generic way of operation of industry now oh, industry operates so the planning department is going to be uh, operating and then that will be deciding the job orders now it will now see the actual sales orders and then the marketing department is going to give a forecast so based upon these two inputs they will now decide the job orders how much has to be manufactured basically so this way it operates the industry operates like this now in which we are now going to see the picking rule which is going to be a constituent of a moment request actually the moment request will now facilitate movement of materials from the finished good area into the staging area actually good then so you understood it so we are going to see this now so in this place we have one more thing called moment request lab exercise moment request lab exercise is there right i now open it up and then i am going to simulate this now i am not going to make a simulation of this now so go there so i am not going to simulate it so we have to have two dyna locators actually we have only one dyna so i will now make dyna 2 also right the dyna 1 has got 2 and 22 fine go there i will now make one more dyna 2 uh, dyna 1 has got 200 though dyna 2 i will now make it for 33 and 44 no fine let us now make the things over here no as and when we are now going to simulate the setup so no? and yeah, very casually ca carefully watch this no very important hello go there go to the sub inventories and locators go to the setup and maintenance and then go to manage sub inventories and locators so such is called manage percentage sub percentage look up percentage and enter now manage sub percentage and locators so go there and then let me make the dyna 2 also i click on plus no fine so it's a dynamic sub inventory i go there p011 underscore dyna 2 i will now make it there is no oh there is no character of it i will now uh, make it as dyna 2 okay dyna 2 dyna Oh God, two also is not possible. D Y N two. Dyna two. I'm making it up and taking over it. There is a character limitation on this now because of which you cannot put it. Thank God, that's correct. So metal status is active, and then here, what are they? You know, sub, sub inventory uh, uh, storage. Thank God, the sub inventory type is a storage only. Fine, receiving will come into some other module actually. Fine, that's called the warehouse management system where it will be making the receiving. Otherwise, it will be storage. Locator control is done now. Thank God, 
uh, locator control is what uh, dynamic. I'm not going to make the locator control dynamic now. Location, if you put it, it will be coming automatically over here now. And then locator structure, you go there. And then I will not choose my structure now. Ah, fantastic. Many people have made it now. Eh? So you can very well work on mine and then I do it now. Fine. T01, W01, beautiful. Fine. VD03, many people are making it excellent now. Fine. So if you practice like this, and then you will know reach dizzy heights. Okay, fine. You can very well go to the uh, uh, practice on my uh, login itself, scm13.student, and then with the standard uh, usernames, and then what about the practice, everything now. Whenever time permits, you do it now. I, I have got P01, I'm not putting this. Okay, the structure. Fine. So the Dyna 2 is now getting ready for this test now. Fine, what that you call it? Save and close. Now. That's it. Dyna 1 and Dyna 2. And then in the Dyna 2, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have what? Uh, you will not have what? 33 and 44 are the locator. So click on manage locators. Let me create the 33 and 44. Okay, click on trust now. I'm not going to create 33 and 44. 33, 33, 33. Save and create another. I will not go for 44. Tap 44. Tap 44. So click on save and close. So two locators are now simulated like this. It's not now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have an order also. Order of picking also. So I will now have this as an order as a two now for the Dyna. So I will now close this. Click on what happens. Done now. So in the sub inventory itself, I will now edit and then I will now give the picking order as two. Now. This is the picking order at the top, right hand side top. I know the two. Now. So two is the lesser priority. Fine. The lower the number, higher the priority. Click on save. The picking order for the Dyna 2 is one. And then the Dyna 1 has got a picking order of one actually. Dyna 1, I go there. And I'll click on it and I'll click on edit now. The Dyna 1 will be having a pick order of 1. 1 is the picking order. Fine. Save and close now. <clears throat> it's not that. So go there. So Dyna 1 and Dyna 2 are now made with the picking orders. Now. <clears throat> and then locator order. In the Dyna 1, we have got two order. So I have got a higher priority for 2 to 2 and then lesser priority. So locator order also, I'm only putting it only for the Dyna 1 and not for Dyna 2. Now. So go there. Dyna 1. Go to the Dyna 1. And then click on the manage locators. And then the first one, fine, go that on it. So 222 has got a highest priority, fine, go that click on it. I will now edit this. I click on edit. 222 edit it. And then there I will now give a picking order of what? The picking order of one now. One. And then click on save and close now. And then the what's called another one is what? 22, 22, 22. This we created it during transaction. So we know ignore it. You know, go there. And then click on edit now. <clears throat> and then go there. And then make the picking orders two now. This also you do it and then. Uh, you can put a message on the WhatsApp group that uh, we have completed picking rules. So I will be very happy to see that. No, fine. That's a very tough one. And then if you have done it, what happens? It will be excellent. Tell me. Somebody has got some questions. Sir, can, uh, can 22, 22, 22, will it be by default or we have to set two? Like only yeah. there are two. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, we only have to two. set it actually. Yeah, we only have to set the priority. Okay. Priorities are set manually only. Manually we will not do it now. One second. Uh, hello, I am in a training actually. I will. Uh, can you read me at uh, around 5:45? Sure, sir. Okay, okay, yeah. So good question. So we have to only set up the orders. No, the sub inventory orders and locator orders we are setting it up actually. So the remaining are set. Okay, fine. Go there. Now I am going to perform four transactions. No, fine. Let me create an item, which is going to be what. The locator controlled and then a locator controlled. I'm not going to give the item at all. Fine. I'm not going to do it directly on this. No point for that. It will be a lot controlled. So item will be a lot controlled and then item will be what? Uh, lot sub inventory locator. No point. So soft block sub inventory. So we don't have any only lot control now. Revision. I'm not going to do it. These are the four components of picking locator, lot, revision, and sub inventory. So I'm going to test the locator. <clears throat> fine. Locator, I'm going to test it now. And then lot, I'm going to test it now. So it will be lot control. Revision, I'm going to uh, revision lab access for you. You can try the revision. And then sub inventory also I'm going to test it. So out of the four constituents, I'm going to set, test it on three components. One is a lab access for you. So I will now create an item which is a, going to be lot controlled item. Fine. This is for mid, movement request. No, fine. I will now create a movement request test item. Any doubts? Then there you ask me. Fine. Click on that. No, fine. Not so let's go there. And then we'll now create an item. Fine. Click on the form icon. This is a very important access. Try to complete it today. Fine. Go there. No cinema, no beach, no girlfriends, no boyfriends. Fine. Only Oracle now. Hmm? Go there. So this one. Go to this place. And then I will now go to the what? Go there. Go there. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. And then we are going to get an item. Now. So click on it. We will now get an item. So click on get item. The item is going to be lot control. And then the remaining controls, the locator is available in the sub inventory itself. And then the lot is a, is a control. And then sub inventory also in the sub inventory. We are now given the different control. So click on get it now. I will do it now. 000. Click on OK. 
you go inside and then i will now put the item as a mr test item now. go there is a p01 underscore mid moment request test item moment request test item fine take copy it and then put in the description now and then here it's all okay fine go there so go to the specifications it is going to be lot control nothing and no other control we are going to use it now fine go to the inventory and then make it the lot control lot control is a full control now so once when you make it the full control it becomes a mandatory field actually you have to have a, a starting prefix and starting number uh, okay it will, sometimes what happens it will be item level it will be failing actually i will not say lot underscore i will not say 301 or something like that for some number i'm giving it i'm not going to go for shelf life and all fine go there is what it's only a simple control of this stuff lot but i am now mentioning my lot manually actually all lots are manually mentioned so once when it is a full control we can even have a manual lot as well as a predefined lots fine right? while transacting it we can even do the predefined we can even generate lot we can even generate lot during transactions or otherwise manually you are going to do it right? so this is the one so go there that's it fine right? that's it some nothing else is there as far as item is concerned no other things are tested all this this exercise now i will now go to the associations and then let me associate my child or no go the good actions and go to select nat so let me put my child or over here now p01 and then dissu <coughs> It will be coming over. Select it from the left hand side. Apply and done. By which it is not done now. So it is not done now. So go there. I will not drop down and then I will not save and close. P zero one underscore M R test item is ready for transaction. Now <clears throat> I am going to perform three, four such transactions now. Thank you. This is the first transaction number one now. So I will not do with this now. With this one I am going to do it. Under quantities now. Go there. So I will not go to the material. Go there. Click on it. I will not do it. So I will not go to the supply chain execution now supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management and then i'm going to perform four transactions of this one. so click on it i'm now simulating this uh, uh, mr actually i'm going to it i will now click on what create miscellaneous transaction and then i'm going to wait now <clears throat> so type is a miscellaneous result miscellaneous result and go there and then the account we go there and then populate the account again take copy of it and then put it on this place now give it tap and then go there go to this place minus now <clears throat> and then click on plus now putting a plus over here item is what p01 underscore mr and then give a tap to the item now so here i am not going to put it now so uh, we will now do as per the plan now so we will now go to the details and then you know what about the dyna one i am going to transact it now if I click on the edit details and then we will not transact on dyna one now sub inventory is dyna one if i make a mistake please point out to me because otherwise what about the simulation if it fails it will be very difficult actually if i make a mistake please then and there you point out to me and go that to one dyna one is there on this what happens i'm not going to put what uh, 222 locate is 222 2-2-2 give a damn now no no go this place and then you are going to go for 100 quantities now. fine and then 100 quantities and then lot lot number you give it and then afterwards give this now fine so what i will do is i will not change all the lots now fine i will not have to take when i can even take it up copy and then put it up it's a p uh zero one underscore the p zero one underscore go there take a copy it and put on this place now paste it and then this also will not paste it so this also will not paste it i will not make a change of what is a one not four that's it fine go there so let me take a copy of the first one fine take copy it and then go there i will not put the lot fine don't put the quantity if you go to 12 and then give a tab and then put the lot and then give a tab what happens the lot quantity vanishes now so first put the lot now i will not put the quantity as 100 now and that's it fine go there. so this lot of 100 quantities on dyna one am i correct then our one lot is on two to two fine go that click on it and click on okay the first line is ready we will now go and then simulate the three remaining remaining three lines now fine click on plus now i am going to go there and take a copy of it and then put an item now and paste it now go there click on details now. the second transaction will be on dyna but 22 22 22 dyna one only go there so i will not go there item is this thing now. come on ah check. item is not copied at all so i will not say p01 underscore mr and then give a tab now item will be coming some sub inventory is dyna one so choose the dyna one over here now it will be 22 22 22 22 i want 22 i want 22 give a tab now and the transaction will i will now pop in the tab now. so this is also lot one of three and take copy it and then put a paste now give a tab now and then this will be for under qualities so the second line simulation is now getting ready dyna one 22 and then p103 right dyna 22 dyna one and then 103 lot so this is okay and then go down and then click on okay we'll now go and then simulate the third line now so click on plus now i'll now simulate the third line so it's a p01 underscore mr and then give a tap the item will be coming and then go to the edit details <clears throat> go there click on it so we're going to do it now so 
So go there. We will now go on and have a look at it. The third line is on Diana 2, 33 now. Diana 2, 33. Fine. Drop it down. And then we will now see Diana 2. So Diana 2 is the one which is there in the stop place now. Fine. It is 33. 33, FN, 33, FN, 33. <coughs> Sorry. 33, FN, 33, FN, 33. Fine. Give it have now. And then we will now populate the lot over here. The lot is 104 now. Take a copy of the lot. And then put on the lot. And then paste the quantity as 100 now. That's it. Fine. Over there. So the third simulation is okay, fine. We'll not go for the final simulation on this one. So click on last one. We're going to make a final simulation on this one. Go there. P01 underscore MR. Then give it tab now. What else? And then click on edit details. Go there. Fine. Go there. The final transaction is on Dana 2 on 44. No. Drop it down on Dana 2. Dana 2 is there in the top. If you make a mistake, please then and there point out to me. Fine. 44 iPhone 44 iPhone 44. Because if the simulation is wrong, I cannot demonstrate it. That is the biggest thing. Fine. Go there. This is on lot 103 now. Fine, go there, click on it. I will not put the lot. Fine, go there. Click on the lot. Give that. And then there's 100 now. That's it. Fine. All the four are simulated. Fine, click on OK. And then I'm going to commit. Fine, go there, click on one. So click on submit. And then we'll now have a look at it whether the simulation is correct or not. Fine, go there. Transaction complete. We'll go there. You will now go to the item quantities and then have a look at it whether the simulation is correct or not. So go there. It's a P01 underscore MR. And then give a tab now. And the item quantities I'm going to fine, click on search now. And then expand it. And then have a look at it now. <coughs> Expand it. So we are expanding it. And then the organization fine, expand it. And then the sub inventory one, expand it. And then here, locator 222, fine, expand it. And then lot, fine, give it app, expand it. Nothing is there. So here, on the 22, 22, 22, we have this now, fine, sub inventory Diana 2, we go there, click on it. And then we have lot on this now. And then lot on this. Now. So on 222, we have 103. On 222, we have 103 of 100 quantities. Okay, fine, okay. And then on 22, 22, also lot 103, 100 quantities. On 22, 22 also lot 103 is there. Fine, very correct now. And then afterwards, on Diana 2, on 44, we have 100 quantities of 103. On 44, uh, on 44, uh, we have 103. Fine. And then on 33, 44, on 44, 103. And then on 33, 103, uh, sorry, one second. 33 is 104. No. 33 is 104, is okay. And then 44 is 103, actually. 44 is 103. So 44 is 103. Correct, fine. So the simulation is excellent, fine. Now, I am going to write my picking rule now. Picking rule is a very tough one. And then we are going to write the picking rule now. How we are going to pick it. So, in the picking, there are four constituents are there. One is a lot on the sub inventory, on a locator. I am only using these three things. Revision, I am not using it actually. I am not using the revision that I have exist. The locator, lot and sub inventory, I am going to use it for picking actually. So, let me go and then create my picking rule for this now. I will now have the lot as ascending, sub inventory as an ascending, and then locator as an ascending. So that is the way I'm going to do it now. So there are four transactions are there. Fine. It will now do what? How it will now do? We will now see this. <clears throat> we will now go there. Click on it. So we will now go and then create our picking rule now. <clears throat> go to this place. And then we will now go to the task called picking rule. Fine. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then we will now go to the task and then do the picking rule now. Click on it. Go there. <laughs> Click on search now. It is the manage picking rules, manage percentage, pick percentage, rule percentage as an interview. Manage picking rules is the one. I will now go to the manage picking rules. I have now created a rule. So click on the rule. So click on plus. I will now have my own rule. So I will now say it's a P01 underscore pick underscore rule. Pick rule, picking rule. So put a tick mark on this time because I click on it. Description impression. So if we have a shelf life day, it will be material restriction there. So if anything which is beyond let's say 45 days, do not pick at all. Fine. That also I can say. Otherwise, leave it as such. The priority is what? Lot is ascending now. Fine. Go lot. If you see this, we will now have lot. There are multiple things on there. Lot is an ascending, lot is a descending. Last is a first in, first out, or first expiry, first out. They normally, if you have an expiry date, they always prefer whichever is going to expire first, you pick first. So that is the best one. For my training, I'm using ascending. I'm not given a lot expiry date and so I'm not doing it. So this is the best one if you have expiry. Whichever is going to expire first, you move out of the thing and then send it to the customers because uh, before expiry, we had to send it. So this is the best one. So for this training, I'm not putting ascending now. Next one is what? Sub inventory ascending. So sub inventory is ascending. So we'll now say whichever is having a higher, lower number, there is a higher priority. Lower number. So if you see in this place, what happens, sub inventory, Dyna 1 is having a lower number. Dyna 2 is having a higher number. So it will now try to empty Dyna 1. And then if there is not sufficient stock, then it will now go on and pick from Dyna 2 also. I go there. So sub inventory is what? I will not say ascending. So we got multiple options depending upon the requirement. You have to do it now. Sub inventory is on ascending. The third priority we go there. I am not going to go for a locator now. 
locator is also alternating. Fine, for that. Locator. So locator number we are given now. Fine. Locator ascending, descending. Locator reserve date. Reserve date is the one which will be using it for sub inventory as well as locators. Very extensively they are used actually. Whichever has been received first, you give it to customers first. That is the way for the sub inventory and locators. So I am not giving ascending. <coughs> Only three priorities. I am not choosing the revision. So yeah. A picking rule can have four constituents for picking. One is the locator, one is the lot, one is the revision, one is the sub inventory. Revision is a lab access, and then you can even put it on the same. You simulate on the first of all on the sheet now, and then do it now. Fine, there's a very big process actually. So I have given ascending, ascending, ascending for lot, sub inventory, and locator. Fine, go there, click on it. I will not save it now. So click on save, save and close because we have to make it as active now. Fine, click on make it, and then allow the partial picking. Suppose let us say in this place we don't have sufficient material, pick it up from other place also. We normally allow partial picking. Otherwise, what happens? Some places that partial picking is not allowed, you will not put it in market. So allow partial picking also. We will come to this part a bit later on. Shelf life, I have told you, I am not going to make it active and then save and close. Activate, make it active and then give a save and close by which my picking rule is ready. Now I have to assign this picking rule to what happens is some item now. And click on the manage assignments. My picking rule is there. And click on the manage assignments and then let us now create an assignment for this. Click on plus one. Manage assignments and I'm going to get an assignment. Click on plus one. So we can assign it to so many things actually. <clears throat> so what I do is I go and then assignment information. I will not put the organization over here now. P01 and then you tab now. It is an organization. Sequence number is one now. And then the picking rule is what? P01. You tab. So I know given all these things now. Data type and all leave it as well. And then I will not put on the item. Item level assignments I'm going to do. P01 and then underscore MR. So I am assigning it to a specific item over here. These are the criteria for assignments and then there are general information, assignment information. So that's it. I will not make it as active now. So this picking rule is applicable for this item. I give a save and close. That's it. It is not done. So the picking rule is now assigned over here. Fine, go there. The activity, activity of assigning is not done. Now I'm not going to create a picking rule. No. Picking rule, movement request I'm going to create. So picking rule, creation and then assignment to an item is now completed. Now I'll not do it. Now what happens? If you go there and then I'm not going to create a movement request. I will not get a movement request. Let alone create a movement request for this one. Uh, this is a quantity now. It's okay. Uh, I will not duplicate. Right? Some uh, screens will be required. So we'll not keep it as such in the entry now. Now I'm going to create a movement request now. First movement request, I'm going to create it. Fine, go there. So go to the supply chain management and then go to the inventory management. So click on it and then here what happens? You go there and then click on create movement request now. <clears throat> Manage movement request is a navigation. If I click on the manage movement request, I click on it. You're going to have a look at manage movement request is the one and go there. Click on plus. So you go there and then we have to wait. The system automatically creates a number. I can override it also. Fine. I will not say oh, I'm already get P01 underscore MR underscore one. No. I make it go there. So for the first movement request, I'm making it now. So the transaction type can be a movement request to transfer or otherwise an issue actually. So here, what I'm going to do is, as per the diagram, so I will be basically, uh, what I'm going to do is, I will now issue out movement request. Fine. I will now move it from the FGS to the staging area. It is a transfer actually. Sometimes what happens, we don't do like this. We will now issue to shop floor itself. So in which case, what happens, it will be having an account issue. So in the sales orders, we will be issuing, we will be making a transfer from FGS to staging. Whereas in other places, what happens, we will be uh, issuing it to what happens, an account actually. So if it is an account issue, we will be making it as what? We will not moment at this issue. Actually. Now you're going to go for a moment transfer. Source sub inventory. If I go there, leave it blank. That is the power of picking. The power of picking is the source. Now if I go there, destination sub inventory. I'm going to go to do where to drop. The stage sub inventory is required now. I will not put RMS one. Uh, just for understanding more. That is the staging one. So I will not put uh, normally staging. I will not be having any locators basically. So RMS is not having any locator. I will not put it on the RMS one. Yes. Go there. Click on plus one. How much I want to move now? from the source? Leave it blank. The booking rule will now allocate the source actually. That is the biggest idea. Fine, go there. So P01 underscore MR and then give a tab now and I'm putting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to what do this now. <clears throat> go there. So I will now go for 60 quantities for this. I'll now go there. Request the quantity is 60. 60. Go there. The source I'm leaving it blank and then I will now click on save and then submit. My MR1 is now ready. Movement request is ready. So the source, I'm asking the picking rule to do, do the allocation actually. Allocation is the power of a picking rule. Fine, go back to and submit it. So MR1 is now submitted. It gets automatically approved actually. It is now submitted. You go there. If you click on search now, you know, fine. 
Okay, I'll now put the item over here and then make a search. P01 underscore MR and then give a tap. I'm not going to search on the item. Now. One of the double star is a mandatory field. If I click on search, no, I'm not searching it. You'll not get what happens. This is a pre approved one. Now, I'm not going to run a concurrent now. Right? For that, I will not duplicate it. Let me run a concurrent and then see this one. <clears throat> I'm going to run it. For that, go to the tools and then go to the schedule to process. Tools and then schedule to process. I'm going over there. So, tools and then schedule process. If schedule process is not there, can we add it like this? No, I'm not there. Very sure about it. I click on plus now. I don't try to add one as a scheduled process. Come on, yeah. There and that. I mean, we can very easily do it. No, fine. Whether procurement. Ah, it's all very difficult. Yeah. I mean, adding this is really, very, very tough now. Configuration and then uh, the tools. No, fine. To be this on the configuration. The tools it is there. No, fine. I will now enable the scheduled process and then give OK now. Where is the OK? Fine. Click on save and close. No, fine. Maybe it's not. Otherwise, we're going to add in one. The schedule to process is that. Ah, it's a somewhat difficult one. The goal goal icon, we can very easily do it. With this one, it's a somewhat difficult actually. Fine. Click on the schedule process. Go there. Well, no. Run that one. Fine. Click on the schedule to process. I'm now going to do the print movement request pick slip report. Fine. Go there. I will now say print move and then give a tap. Print move and then I'm giving a tap. I'm going to run it now. Click on OK now. So while I'm doing it, I have to say which organization. Organization is P011. Give a tap. Movement request is what? P01. And then there is only one movement request there. So that will be coming automatically. From and to, I'm going to do it. And then at the bottom, I'm going to say what happens. Release the movement lines. Release is yes, no. That means what? You're going to allocate it. Release, allocate. Release approved lines is allocation. So here I'm going to allocate. No. I'm going to allocate. Which one it has to pick up? No. So I'm allocating it. I click on submit. No. It is now submitted. So it is now releases. This means what? It will be allocating the movement. Click on it and then query for it. Go there. So where is my print movement request is now running now? Fine, it's not running. So print movement request is 9:30. Fine, it has now succeeded. Fine, keep your cursor on this now. The print moment request is not completed. Fine, go that on it. And then go down and then see this one. The output will be coming very soon. It will be having an output. I will now republish the output. The print moment request pick slip report will be actually be printing in a printer actually. And then you click on the republish and then you're going to republish it. Go there. And then click on the wheel icon and then export it as a PDF now. Click on the wheel icon and export it as a PDF. I'm going to export it as a PDF and then I will now save now. I click on it, save. And then go there and then you will now view it. View it. It will now say how it has allocated actually. I will also go down, go down. So now it has now allocated actually. If you see this now, I go there. So it is basically what? MR is the Dyna one has been allocated. I go there. And then where is the uh, what's called the locator now? Fine. Locator is there. Locator is not done. Lot is there. Fine. The locator is lot quantity is coming. Where is the locator number? Come on. Dyna 1 is a sub inventory. Destination sub inventory is RMS 1 now. This is a requested by which user it is now saying. Locator is not put at all. Fine. This is not a correct report. Actually. They should have done it in a very proper manner. Fine. Lot number is there. Lot quality is there. Locator number also must be there. Anybody? Come on. Does not if do RMS is there, then there will be no. No, oh, no. Right? It has to pick up. No, it has to pick up from which locator. End. This is not having okay. a locator. Okay. Fine. Picking up must be a locator. No, fine. No, that is not a locator. So we will not see anything else. No, no. Ah, I don't like it. But what happens uh, the, if you tell the technical, they will not put all the appropriate fields on this. No? This is a pixel on this. No? So if you go on and see this, no, fine. I will not close it. I will not go on and have a look at it. No, fine. No, fine. So if you go on and see. It. So lot is ascending now. So ascending means what? It will now uh, do the sort on this. No, fine. One, two, three, four will be sorted as what? First one, then afterwards two, and then afterwards four, and then afterwards three. This is the way it will now sort. Fine. The transactions will be sorted as well. Since lot is ascending, it will now 1, 2, 4, and then 3. That is the way it will now sort. And then it will now perform a sub sort on this now. Fine. Sub sort is our sub, sub inventory. If you see the sub inventory, so uh, you can see 1, 2. Uh, sub inventory was these two are the same sub inventories, and this is another different sub inventory. And there is no change on the order at all. 1, 2, 4, 3 is the same thing. And then after the locator also, there is no further sub sort on this now. There is no further sub sort because our, our orders are coming in the same way. So the final sort and subsort after all the sorts, lot, subordinary, locator is what? 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2. 
So we need only 60. So it has now picked up from 2 to 2, 60 quantities. Got it now, right? Now it has allocated 2 to 60 to quantities. So that lot number is not coming here. Come on, yeah, it should be there. Uh, okay, there are, there are some mistakes by the technical dimension. You, you see the lot now 103 is coming, Dyna 1 is coming. Okay, Dyna 1 is coming, 103 is coming, but locator number also must be there on the report. Now, what we had to do is we have to perform what? A transaction now. We have to perform what? We have to move it from this place to this place now. Right? It is allocated and then we have to perform a pick confirm transaction. It is allocated. The picks have been allocated. We are going to perform a pick confirmation and then bring it to the staging area. So for that, what happens? We need a rule actually. So if you see on this place, the pick slip number is what? I will not take a copy of the pick slip number. So we have to perform a pick confirm on this now. You know, go there, click on it now. Right click on the duplicate, not this one. Sorry. You go there. Ah, where is mine? I don't want it to over there. Right, I will not go to the other place. Now. Right click on the duplicate now. Now I have to perform a pick confirm on this. One. I have to perform pick confirm. I go there. I will not go to the tools. I will not go to what? Ah, supply chain execution. Now. This is not at all good. I don't know why people are preferring this way of uh, displaying it actually. I don't like it. Cheapo. What to do? I cannot do anything. I have to only implement it. Okay. So here I will not go to the inventory. And then here I will not go to the shipments. Now, till now what happens? We were in the inventory part. Now I am going to the shipments part. And then I will not say confirm picks. Confirm pick slips. By confirming it, it will now move from RMS to the staging. Rather, our uh, FGS to staging area. Our staging area is RMS there. RMS one. I am going to confirm picks now. I am going to confirm it. Click on confirm. So for confirmation, what happens there? We need a row as well as a data access. Otherwise, it will not confirm at all. So I am not going to go to confirm picks of this one. So go there. I will now put the pick slip number over here. Paste it and then give a tab. And then let me search for it. I am searching for it. So here, I may not even get the pick slip at all. Because I don't have a role at all. So I must be having a shipping manager role with the data access. Then only I can do it. Otherwise, it is not possible at all. So I will not have to change the org also. In this place, I have to change the org. So it is not coming. It is not going goal, goal, goal. And then it will not give any results at all. I will not try to go click on the change org. I will not try to put the org on. So it is what? It is P01. And then give a tab now. I am not trying it. Puss. It is not available. Dog itself is not available because I don't have a role and data access for picking it. Actually. It is not available. So we will not give a role and data access. Thank you. Tab. So right click and then duplicate and then I am going to give a role and data access for moving the material from the FGS to staging actually. Go there. So click on it. You go there. Go to the tools. And then this place. Go there. Go to the security console and then let me add the role. Now. For the SCM 13 user, I have to add a role. Now. I click on it. When you are doing it, somebody might have added means leave it as such now. So is the SCM. 13 and then enter it now. You're going to have a look at it. So click on it and then I will now edit it and then bring in the role. Now. So click on edit. I'm going to go there. So I will now add a role now. Fine. So we have a OESCM role which takes care of everything. And then apart from that, what happens? You click on add role. We need a role for this now. Fine. It's a shipping manager. Shipping manager is the one. So I will now use the ORA role. So that click on it, add it. So the role is added and then we have to give a data access also. So till now, we have seen only the inventory manager role and data access. Now, shipping manager role and access is required for a pick confirmation process. Fine, click on save and close now. And then we will now give a data access also. Oops. I will go there. Click on turn off. We will now give a data access. So go to this place. And then again, go to the setup and windows. We will now go to the task now. <coughs> now go there. Click on it. We will now give a role. Now. Shipping manager data access. So manage percentage. Data percentage. Access percentage and you know, data access is the one. So manage data access for users. I'm going to go over and then I will not give access. If I click on plus now, I'll not give it now. So it is the what SCM 13. 13 give a tab. It is what's called shipping manager. SHI and then give a tab. It will be coming automatically. The role will be coming now. Come on, it is not there. What happened? We have given the role now. I have not saved it or what? Shipping manager is there. Yeah, it's not coming. I don't know. Shipping manager is the role. Go there. It is an inventory or and then I will now put P01 and then 1. Now I can very well see this now. This place. Click on save. Okay. Save and close means vanish. Fine. Go there. Click on the now. Now I will now go to this place. In this place. Fine. Go there. I will now do the pick confirmation. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Where is the one? This is the one now. I will now go there. Click on it. I will now go to the shipments and then go to the confirm pick slips now. Confirm pick slips is the one. And then here 
I will not change the org to P011 now. Previously, the change org was not working because in the shipping area, we are not given the role as well as the data access. Now we are given both. So on the confirm pick slips, we can very well see the org coming up on the right top now. So we are not doing the confirm picks now. <clears throat> so click on change org. I have to get the P01. Hey, come on. Come on. Wah, wah. P01. And then give it app. It has to come now. Oh. And then click on search now. It is not coming. What I have to do now? If it is not coming, what I have to do? Anybody? Log out and log in. Fantastic. Fantastic. Log out and log in now. Fine. Sometimes what happens whenever a major change has happened now, what happens? You have to log out and log in now. Log out and log in. It will now come now. Go this place, go inside now. We will now log out and log in. And then from this place, what happens? We won't do it now. So let's call it. So you'll now go to this place. Come on. <clears throat> There's supply chain execution. And then you go to the inventory management. Go there, click on it. Go to this place. And then make it as a shipments now. And then here, I will now go to what? Confirm picks now. Change the organization. I will now say it's a P01. And then give a tab now. It has to come. Oh, come on. It is still not coming. P0. And I click on search now. What is the mistake here? Organization name is P0. What is the mistake? I don't know. Let's change the organization. I'm not getting it now. P0. <clears throat> uh, I'm unable to change the organization. SCM01 student. SCM13 only I have given. Huh? I go there. Now we'll have a look at it now. Right? Okay. I'll go to the setup and maintenance. Click on it. We have to have that now. There are no picks available. Once again, once again, once again. Uh, it has allocated. If you go to the home icon, it has to have the picks available for this now. In this place. If you go to the inventory management, you must have the picks available in this area actually. No picks are available. It has allocated now. It has allocated. Oh, the organization is wrong. I will not make a change in the organization here itself. It is not allowing a change there. I will now go to what? I will now go to the inventory and then change the org now. Fine. Click on manage item quantities. We will not try to change the org from this place. Fine. That place is not allowing you. We will not try to change the org from this now. Fine. 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 So that, that area itself it has to have now. Fine. P011 and then give it have now. Click on OK. So from the manage item quantities now getting it now. P011. No data is available on P011 for picks actually. Ah, I don't know why it's so. Click on that. Go there. I will now go to the shipments now. And then you go to the manage pick confirmer, uh, confirm picks now. And then my organization is again change or you know, is only coming as all actually. Right? So drop it down. My org has to come over here now. It is not coming here at all. What is the problem? For this is CM13. I will again go on and make a verification of this. What happens? My Org on the data access for finger on data access. What is this? Setup and maintenance. Go there. Click on it. Click on search now. Let's manage percentage. Data percentage. Access percentage. Enter now. Go to the manage data access for users. And then let us not query in this place. Right? I will not say users with the data access. Make a change. And then here I will not query for this. CM. Uh, 13. Oh, this is CM 13 is the one you have. So click on search now. It has to show me the access. So for the shipping manager, we already have it. Oh God, one more, one more data access is also required. Varrow's manager also required. Right? Not only shipping, Varrow's manager data access is also required. Actually, click on plus one. I forgot about that. So Varrow's data access manager is also required. So yes, CM 13, and then give it. I have no. And that here, I will not drop down Varrow's. I have given or not. I will not give it a Varrow's. Varrow's role, I will not give it. So Varrow's manager data access is also required. Okay. So let us now go on and give the Varrow's manager data access. Right? Click on home icon. Go there. So you have to give the Varrow's data ma manager also. Go to this place. And then here, somebody has already changed on this. Now, right? <laughs> you go to the security console. The look and feel is not changed, actually. Go to this place. So security console is the one. Right? And this place, fine. Go there. Click on it. Go to the users area and then query for the users. Yes, CM13. Yes, CM13. Enter now. Select it. We'll now give the Barrows Manager data access also. So go to the edit and then add it now. Click on add role. So it's a 
warehouse manager warehouse manager of Bora. If I click on add rules, I click on now. Right? Warehouse manager is also covered now. Right? So click on save and close, and then we'll now give a data access for this one. This place, then I give a data. So click on plus, and then it will give the access now. So it's SCM 13. Then give a tab now. Role is warehouse. Give a tab. Ah. Now coming, I think I click on OK now. <clears throat> and then the inventory manager, inventory, inventory organization now. So choose inventory organization and then I will now give P01. Fine, save and close. Ah, invalid. Come on. Warehouse manager. Go there. Inventory R. And then it is a P01. And then P011. And click on save and close now. Fine. So you know that. So click on that. Let us now log out and log in. So on the log out and log in. Sign out and sign in now. This is the only one I am signing in. Click on confirm and then sign in. So we are signing in. Fine. Click on sign in. So go there. Ha! I go there and then here I will now go to the uh, what's called I will now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. Go there and the manage item quantities itself. I will now make a change of the R now. Change R. Go there. How to change the default at the top to our arc? Right? I don't know. So now P011, you see one pick is available. Got it now? So warehouse manager role as well as your uh, what's called your uh, ship, shipping manager role with the data access is required. So for your org, one is ready for picking actually. One is ready for picking. Fine, go there. Got it now. So you can even click on it directly. If you click on it, it will now go to the picking area. One pick is available. It's an open pick. You know, it has to be confirmed actually. So once when you confirm it, what happens? It will be reaching this area now. So from this way, it will be reaching the staging area. So this is called pick confirmation now. Once when you confirm it from the allocated FGS, it will now come into the paging area. That's the pick confirmation. So I'm now clicking on this hyperlink and go there. Click on it. Click on the hyperlink. It's open now. The open pick. It is not yet confirmed actually. And go there. Click on it. You can now see this one. The pick is now coming. Or otherwise, what you can do is you can close it now. Click on close it. Or you go there. So this is called an intelligence area. It's called infolet area. So the infolet is now giving you a lot of information for you. Fine. The infolet is giving. So otherwise, what happens? You go there, go to the shipments, and then click on the pick confirmation or find confirm pick, sl pick slips. Go there, click on it. You now go there, click on it. And then here I'm going to perform a confirm. So since we know that we have already taken a copy from this place now, uh, where is our uh, sheet now? Which one? This one, okay. I've already taken 177539 is the one I have taken a copy. So this I'm going to put it on this place now. Go there, click on it. So uh, in the shipments, I'm not going. The pick slip is what? I will not paste the pick slip and then go to query. So from the info let itself, you can click it or otherwise you can get it down. For, so viewing it, you must have that now. So such it, and then it will be coming over here now. <clears throat> so we had to have a lot of. And then date uh, equals to so and so. Today's date is not coming. Uh, otherwise, some of the characters, some of the criteria has to be removed and then such. No. Ah, I think I think we have to remove it and then make a certain result. Let's come. Click on the hyperlink on the pick slip now. Click on the hyperlink. One is open. Nothing is confirmed actually. And you are clicking on the hyperlink and then let us now perform and confirm. Now. Select it and then you're going to confirm. If you want, select it. And then we're going to say how much you want to pick. The system has allocated six, but the inventory manager may not pick everything now, and depending upon the requirement. So the inventory manager is saying, okay, sir, I will not pick everything. Whatever the system has allocated. It has allocated Dana, two to two, and then there's a lot. But if you want to override anything, he can also override. Systems recommendation can be very well overridden by what system has recommended this one, this one, this one. But the inventory in charge can override these three parameters during pick confirmation into RMS1. The RMS1. So if you want, you can override. So click on confirm now. We selected everything. Select both the lines. Fine, go there. Click on what happens. The confirm and close by which what happens. The 60 coordinates will be going into RMS. Now. Confirm and close. The line will vanish actually. Now it's confirmed. And then it will now reach the RMS now. It will be reaching RMS now. Fine, go there. And then it will now go to the item quantities now. Fine, go there. It's now going to go there. It's now going to confirm it now. <sighs> go to space. <laughs> in the manager item quantity, we go there and then make a search now. <clears throat> From 2 to 2, 100 will be coming down on this now. Right? Click on OK now. 
கூட சப்ளை செயின் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் கூட இன்வென்ட்ரி அதாவது சப்ளை செயின் எக்ஸிகூஷன் வந்து கூட இன்வென்ட்ரி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஹாவ் லுக் அட் ஐட்டம் குவாலிட்டிஸ் ஃபைன் கோ தட் குவாலிட்டி கிளிக் ஆன் மேனேஜ் ஐட்டம் குவாலிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் தென் கோ தே அண்ட் தென் ஐ will not put the item over here it is a p01_mr and then give a tag ah come on is it's a what mr mr and then give a tag no oh, it's a caps lock is on <coughs> so it's a mr and then give a tag so item will be coming oh come on why it's not oh organization is wrong come on yeah this is the one really, i don't understand about how to make it as a default anybody find the default organization has to be our org no fine can you please teach me about how to do it now click on okay the organization has got changed now go there click on it now you see one is confirmed now previously one was in the in the open state it has got confirmed actually one is confirmed that is not coming in the info let it's not coming so is on p01 underscore mr and then give a tab now you can see the rms is now with 60 quantities of and expand it you know see the rms will be having a 60 quantities expand it so yeah what am i going to see all this see rms has got 60 quantities the rms has got 60 quantities to expand it to show you what is the lot which is a lot 103 and then it has got no locators actually rms has got 60 quantities <coughs> so this completes a complete full cycle of what allocation and then pick confirmation now what i am going to do i will not do two more thing right uh, the second line i will allocate and then the third line i will allocate and then the rest i will leave it to you the second i am going to allocate okay. so the second i am going to allocate okay. So the second i will not lock it i will not make another move on request in the locket and then the third also i will do it afterwards what happens i will now do i will now leave it to you for other exercises actually only two more allocations i'm going to make it now let me make a second movement request of and report i will now make a second movement request <coughs> click on it click on done now now i'm going to make a second movement request fine go there so click on the home icon somebody has already changed the look and feel of it to goal goal icon now i don't know whether you have done it or not i don't know because of inactivity it's not on the entry now goal goal i like it actually so supply chain execution then go to the inventory management go the icon it and then here what about you go there i will now go to the movement request manage movement request the one i am going to create the second movement request only two more movement request i am going to create fine icon it down i will now allocate and then leave it now so p01 underscore mr underscore 2 i am making it now. go that go that uh, one second uh, i'll take it copy it and then go there for the moment and then i will now say is a movement request now <laughs> movement movement request transfer now so destination is rms now so put the destination rms second is also so for the same thing now. for 60 quantities only if you go on and see this now so second is also for 60 quantities only go that for it and then go to the place fine click on plus so item is what is the p01 underscore mr and then give a tab this is also for 60 quantities and 60 quantities you tab now and then i will now submit follow here mr2 is now submitted for the thing source is blank the system will be allocating it fine click on the right destination only we are given now. rs rms fine click on the now normally source will be less blank let the movement request uh, the picking rule allocate the material that is the best one now click on search now item is go there the p01 underscore mr and then give it up now <coughs> and then click on search so the second one is pre approved that is closed actually that is already completed now is the pre approved now what i am going to do is i am going to modify it now i am going to modify it as what ascending ascending and then descending now the third one i am going to make it as a descending itself i will not make it as a descending so we will not go on and have a look at it now fine so the picking rule i am going to modify it now fine got it i will not go to the picking rule and then modify it so i will not go to the manage picking rule task now go to the setup and maintenance and then i go to the manage picking rule task click on it is a very important exercise please all of you complete it you will have a very good proficiency on the inventory actually upon completion of this exercise go there is a manage percentage pick percentage rule percentage and then enter now the manage picking rule the one so you go and put it so my is in graph and connect i will not edit it now now i cannot edit it at all because the edit is grayed out because it is already assigned now so we have to remove the assignment then only i can remove the active and then i can make a change now so it's not done so you first of all remove the assignments select it and then go to the manage assignments now in the manage assignments what happens i have to remove it now i go that correct i will not edit it now. i will not edit it and then here <coughs> i will not inactivate it now. inactivate it i give a save and close now fine it is no, no more active actually inactivated i give a save and close now it is no more active so once it is not inactive fine go there so click on done now tell me sir can we create a new uh, petrol assignment yeah yeah we can also do it now. no no for the same item only one thing fine. if you have all the assignments must be inactive this is now inactive fine click on done now now i can modify it now 
the assignment is inactive and goes active on editor. Now I can remove the activeness. Then I can change. Because if there is any assignment, it will not work at all. The assignment has been inactivated and goes active on it. I'm not going to make what? The locator is descending now. The locator is what? As not ascending. I'm not going to make a change to descending now. And then again activate it and then save it now. Make a change and then save it. Now we will activate the assignments also. And goes active on it. I will now go to the manage assignments and then activate the assignments also. Click on it, assignments. Now it's all over. So when you wanted to do a change on the picking rule, assignment first must be first of all inactivated. Then only the rule can be changed actually. So the order must be understood. Now we will now go on and run it now. So we'll now run this one. We'll now run this We'll now run this concurrent now. So we'll now run it. We'll now run the concurrent. We'll now go to the tools schedule to process and then we'll now run it now. Tool schedule process equal to run it now. Go to this place and then what happens? I'll go there and then run it. Now. And tools and then go to the scheduled process and then I'm going to run the concurrent. Print to move is the concurrent which I'm going to run now. So click on scheduling process. I will now run the print move now. So go there. Is that print move is a concurrent fine? Give it a print move is a concurrent fine. Go there. Go there. Click on okay now. <clears throat> Organization is what P011 and then give it a app. Movement request is what? Uh, P01 and then give it a app. Both the things will be coming. I will not choose the first one is already closed. Fine. So here also what happens there? P01 and then give it a app. I will not choose the second movement request fine. Go there. And then I'm going to allocate it now. The allocation is what? If you say release approved lines, it will be allocating it. Otherwise, it will simply print only. It will only print. It will not allocate anything at all. Thank you, Consabit. I'm not leaving it. So it's not running. So 374 concurrent is running. We are going to wait for it. Then have a look at it now. 374. So 374 is now running. <clears throat> so once when this is completed, we will now see the output of it now. 374 concurrent is running. It is called ESS job. Enterprise scheduler services job. It is now running. Go there. Go there. It is succeeded. Fine. Select it. And then go there. And then the bottom we can see this. One. Output will be coming. It is now refresh it. Click on re re republish. Republish the one. Fine. Click on it. And then go to the export as a PDF. Doing it now. Fine. And then click on save. And then have a look at it. So all. And then it is now done. Fine. Go there. Go there. And now then have a look at it. How it is allocated. And then see it. Okay, we'll have a look at the, our Excel sheet now. In the Excel sheet, if you go on and see this now. So, uh, Dyna 1 is there. I can go there, claim 1. Uh, it is not done. Now, what happens? It is not descending now. Locator is not descending. So, when the locator is descending, it will now allocate on the 22, 22 first, and then afterwards only it will now come to 222. Got it now, fine. So, 22, 22, 22 would have been allocated out of 100 now. 22, 22 would have been allocated out of 100. Thank you, that's now see that locator number is not coming here and so we are unable to see this now got it now fine so once when the allocation is complete once when you transact it we can see the bucket unfortunately it is not coming they should have added the locator number also i don't know why they have not added now. so it's not showing you the same results only but it has now picked up from 22 22 22 and then allocated and then this is not this now not this one this is the one so now we'll now go for the third one now now I'm going to enforce a lot. I'm going to enforce a lot. So on the first locator, we have 40 quantities. On the second locator, we have 40 quantities. Fine, go there. And then on the 44, 44, what happens? We have 100 quantities. This time I'm going to go for 90 quantities. I'm going to enforce a lot. Uh, the customer says, whatever lot you are giving, you give me only one lot. Ascending, ascending, descending is okay. But what happens? I'm not going to enforce it. If I enforce it, Either lot 103 or 104 has to be given now. Fine. Tell me now how it will allocate. Anybody? Can you make a guess now how it is going to allocate? So ascending, 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 descending makes only 103 eligible for allocation. If it is not available, it has to go to 104. 104 also has got enforcing a lot. 104 has also got 100. So we can also, also allocate. 103, here we have 40. Here we have 40. And then in 44, 44, we can even pick 10 also. 40 plus 40 plus 10. So since 103 is a higher allocation, it will now allocate what? On 222, 40, 222, 40, and then 44, 44, 44, 10, it will allocate. Are you clear on this now? Anybody has got a doubt? When I enforce the lot, it will now, as per this, what happens? 103 becomes eligible for allocation now, ascending, ascending, and descending. 103 becomes eligible. And then there, what happens? It will be allocating like this. Now. Just think, think, and then do it. Now it's a very complex process. We have to write this in a, after discussing with the customers. We have to write this, uh, this ascending and descending on four different variants actually. So let me know and then make a change and then do it now. Fine, go that corner. 
five more minutes required funds for account. So it's not showing me anything. If I'm going to uh, allocate, it, but only when they transact it, we'll understand it. No fine. We'll not transact it. So let us now perform the transaction also and understand it. Uh, 10 minutes, no fine. I will not transact on the understand. So then what happens? We'll have to uh, make a clear understanding of this. No fine. So I'll now go to the home icon. <clears throat> oh, I have not chosen this. No fine. So I'll now go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. Let me allocate it and then see whether where it has taken it from me. No fine. The again, organization is oh, very big. Go to the manager organization and then change the organization to what? P011. P011 and then give it a tap. Click on OK now. So it's not showing what happens. Open and confirm now. So open is the blue color and then the confirmed is the green color. I will not click on the open now. And then let me I'll be, do the confirmation. Open is this. Confirmed is this. Now. So open, I'm clicking on the, in the infolet. This is known as an infolet now. On the inventory management for this org, this is the infolet of it now. I know giving a lot of information the main screen itself. So I'm now clicking on the open one and then I'm going to perform a confirmation now. Let me perform a confirmation now. I know that you will be mentally exhausted now. Right? <laughs> what to do? Let us complete it. In one goal, let us now complete. Fine, select it and then what happens? We'll now confirm it. I know put up 46 now. How many you want to pay? So 60 is the one. Fine, click on confirm now. Confirm and then close. So I'm now confirming it. So it is now confirmed. So if you give a done now, fine, you can now see that everything is confirmed actually. We'll now go on and have a look at the quantities now. Fine, go to that. Manage item quantities. <laughs> go there. So item is P01 underscore MR. <clears throat> and then give it a tap now. And then click on search. So from 22, 22, 22, it has taken off. And RMS has got so 120. I go that. Dyna 1, if you expand it, you can see. From 2 to 2, and then 22. From here, it has taken 60, and then it has not taken another 60, and then it has not put them on RMS actually. Now, the third one, I'm going to do it. Now. And the final one, I'm going to do it now. So I will not enforce the lot. So I will not enforce the lot. So I will know what happens. I go there, click on the manage assignments, and then first of all, remove the assignments and then modify it. Now, I click on edit. I will know inactivate it. The assignment is inactivated. I click on save and close. Then only it will allow you to modify the picking rule. Actually, the assignment is inactivated. I go there, click on it. Let me edit it, and then I will know enforce the lot. Sir, tell me. Sir, I want to ask, why cannot we create a new picking rule? Ah, yeah, you can do it. You can ah, discard it. You have de deactivate it. Actually, yes, deactivate. Okay. It's only simulation. Huh? Whichever way you want to do it. I'm not enforcing a single lot. Either 103 or 104 has to be allocated. Enforce thing. You do it. Whatever way you want, you can do it now. Fine. Make it activate. And then click on save and close now. And then let us know assignment also will enable it now. Click on the assignments. I will activate that assignment also. So click on assignment. So click on assignment. So click on save and close by which it will not happen. Now let us now create a picking rule and then do it now. Fine. 90 quantities we are going to create it now. We are going to create, create a picking rule for 90 quantities now. Click on the now. We will now create a picking rule for 90 quantities now. So click on the home icon and then here you go there and then we'll now create a picking rule for 90 quantities. Enter. Go there. Click on home icon and then here I'll now go to the supply chain execution. Supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. So go to this place, click on it now. Go there. So I will now go to what? Manage movement request. Manage movement request is the one. I'm going to call it. I'll now click on plus one. I'm going to create it. So this is the one is a P01 underscore MR and then give it a tab now. Uh, sorry, MR underscore two. Oh, moment request number. So I will not take a copy of it. MR underscore three actually. MR underscore three. That's why it's not. So the third one, fine, take a copy of it and then put on the place now. Over there. And then here I will not say moment request transfer and then destination sub inventory is RMS one. This time it's for 90 quantities actually. And then yeah, enforcing of a lot is there. So click on plus now. Now go that call. Now go and see. It's a P01 underscore MR and then give a tap. Now coming up. So this time 90 quantities. I'm going to do it now. Fine. So 40 plus 40 plus 10 will be allocated actually on this place. So click on submit. So since we are enforcing it, what happens? It'll be 40 plus 40 plus 40. You know, it will be what? You go there. It will be 40 of this sub-inventory on this one. Fine. And then it is a 2 to 2 40, 20 to 20 40, and then 44, 44, 40. It will be 10 actually. It will be here. It's the thing. 44, 44, 10. Uh, there's a point actually. I don't enter the uh, 10 actually. So it is a, here 40, 40, and then this, uh, this one is a 10 actually. This is how it will go into now. So let us now run the concurrent now. And then those are allocated. They'll now allocate. So go to the supply chain management and then go to the uh, okay, concurrent now and tools and then schedule the process. So go to the schedule process, tools and schedule process. And now go there, click on schedule process. Print to move is a concurrent which I'm going to run now. Print to move. And then give it a Print, oh, it is a mistake. Now I can cancel it. 
so i don't know ah so schedule new process i will not say it is a p r i n t print move and then give a tap just come on click on okay now and then go there organization p01 and then give a tap movement request is what p01 and then the third movement request and then i will not put other so you can also leave it blank but it doesn't matter because otherwise what happens already picked that it will not have anything at all the p01 then you tap one request three already they are close one and two are close so no problem at all fine with that so i will not this is basically for allocation actually release part click on submit go to allocate click on okay and then run it print movement request with slipper put it online so once when we run you can now see the 40 plus 40 plus in three allocations will happen one one of the 44 also one of them will be allocated two and two will be emptied actually click on run now and that is the last part of this training actually are you finding it very difficult or difficult or understandable can you tell me your <laughs> opinion no <now? laughs> so click on read understandable understandable very good fantastic beautiful okay. i really like it now fine it is understandable fine go that go to the place export a pdf so click on save now <clears throat> one and show it now so click on it now and then go down ah it has come as a three different lines actually at least <laughs> so here is there any lot number given now fine this is a 40 plus 40 plus 10 actually see 40 quantity is coming and then it is on dyna 1 and then is also 40 quantity is coming it is another locator and then is also coming on the dyna 2 dyna 2 sub inventory is a 44 locator actually now the locations are coming if they have given the locator number also it will be perfect actually fine locator number is not visible at all fine <laughs> big arlo guy <laughs> in the real one the technical team will now format it as per the end client's requirement because it's going to be printed and then handed over to the inventory boys so the inventory boys will now go and then pick up from this place and then drop it on rms one actually so it is very ne nicely what happens uh, uh, formatted actually so that the inventory boys not normally not educated so by looking at it they will not put it in a big uh, what happens uh, in a big, bigger font actually these two things and then the locator number lot number everything so that these guys will now go and then exactly pick the item and then drop drop it over there the moment of the pick slip report is a very important one the slip report will be done very properly by this it will be uh, tata or birla or whatever be the company so it will be totally formatted by the technical team actually so it is not done then go there so this is now at least indicating it fine three lines as such now fine click on done now and then we'll now go there and then you know see pick up is not fine confirmed is green and then open is this one fine click on the open now fine open is value is 3 there are three picks which are open now fine click on it and then click on this now fine go that one underline and then go there there are people and then select all <clears throat> and then you can see 10 10 there is coming here it is now say 2 22 22 40 fine go that on 40 and then 22 22 is another 40 and then the inventory in charge may even pick less also confirm less also confirmation he may even less confirm no right depending upon his jurisdiction system has allocated he may even override the allocation you can even make a change depending upon the actual condition field conditions actually so go there click on it you know go and then confirm and close by which what happens is not get confirmed now. and then you know have the last i actually will not go and see the item quantities on this now right? all of them are confirmed now right everything is confirmed here so go to the manage item quantities and then have a look at it now item is what you go there is a p01 underscore mr and then give a tab now you can even work on my own login actually fine and then have your different item names that's it pretty much so go there so here rms has not got 60 plus 60 plus 90 fine so uh, it does not come over here now fine 120 plus 90 is 210 fine go there so it is of a lot 103 all of them are lot 103 if you expand the dyna 1 go there click on it dyna 1 is not visible at all because dyna 1 is empty actually all the one in dyna 1 is gone so from the locator what happens like 44 44 we have got 10 uh, uh, moved to the rms 1 so it is not having a, a thing and then the locator 33 is now having one this completes picking rule and movement request how many of you have understood it can you put in the chat let us see what how how much you understood understood or difficult or very difficult fine can you put it now on the chat i would like to see the chat now understood fantastic jinesh has understood it good good you have a movement of this thing fine <clears throat> very good fine shreya has also understood it excellent what about others please put your uh, what's called your comments on the chat no difficult but understandable okay uh, so okay uh, it's really difficult i do understand that is a very a very difficult one but uh, she is saying that she is able to understand it actually okay? pure is no saying understood but require practice basically yes exactly very correct so if you don't have a practice it will not be possible for you to do it 
try to do this practice today before you go to bed <laughs> great 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 but tricky but understood thank you there uh, is a very important one in the industry and then material allocation decides the company's policy of how you are going to allocate it actually so this will not design this there are three uh, what happens the business process which will be using this uh, moment request will be having a look at it soon vandichi <sighs> <laughs> that is vandichi <laughs> my daughter used to say vandichi whenever uh, what happens something has come that is a, actually a childhood uh, uh, slang actually uh, children's uh, slang so that has uh, sticken to me actually <laughs> tricky find somewhat understood okay uh, and uh, those who are not clearly understood it you can even uh, come uh, in the zoom meeting you can even come and discuss amongst you also it's a very tough one i think i know that mm. the request practice theory or clear fine theory is clear that body is saying is a very correct no fine practice is a must try to practice on my login itself with your own number no fine uh, other okay so what is the password that uh, that you are assigning for your login yeah the lcm that in for the password only fine. the same password whatever you have no in this one you have the password oh. no 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 lcm 13.1 uh, fine you have the password yeah. for this okay i know using it what i know using the first one no i know that i was using this one now so this is the password okay etaj i am using it this is the password for logging in clear are you able to see my screen now yes this is the password so you can use this password got oh, fantastic boss i want to complete one hour but i took one hour and 10 minutes but it's okay <clears throat> i hope that everybody has uh, given your comments actually fine look at your comment others uh, comments also fine uh, good comments basically fine somewhat understood and then is a theory is clear practice required fine for that to go so let me go on and stop my screen can even stop the recording now from your side